All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode. And today we're going. This is episode six of the series, and today we're going to be going through um e devil amp. We're going to be going through south, and actually I've decided to split up the videos. So this is going to be part one of devil amp. And in the next video, which should be coming around in a week or so, we're going to be going through part two, West. And if you didn't see my last video before, we went through Amp D, which was episode five, I believe. Yes. And now we should be getting to the spawns of the husks, firstly. And in this video, we're going to be going, we're going to be building it from scratch. Because I know that a lot of you prefer the videos then rather than me explaining it before. Like we've done in all our four other videos. So anyways, just to get started, they're going to be spawning over here. And some will be spawning over here. And we call it the Devil Amp because this amp is very annoying. And, and many people find it very hard. So, firstly, let's just get to building the block off. So firstly here, we're going to build pyramids one by one side over here. We're going to want to build upwards over here. We're going to make it a, just a lava screen over here. Like that. Then lay it down. We're going to want to keep them building. More pyramids coming down here. Make sure also that there are floors underneath here. Because uh, what's going to happen otherwise is that the meteor is going to break these walls. So make sure that there's floors underneath here and here. Let's just reset this. And just keep on expanding out backwards. Out, out, down here. Nope, not like that. Yeah, okay. So for, um, positioned northeast over here. More block off, just more block off to be built over here. We'll be explaining all the traps and the and the perks for them afterwards. After we've built the block off, that should be in around a minute or two or so. After we finish the block off, so let's just finish off this area. Right. Oh, we can't build here. Alright. So then over here, we're going to want to cover this area up. Right, let me, if I can destroy this. There we go. So, two up over here. This over here. Another wall up here. Another wall up over there. Another wall up there. So what this is going to be happening is that the husks are going to be pathing up here. We're going to be building another wall. Like this. Alright. Then over here, we're going to want to build a wall. We're going to want to... Actually, over here, we're going to want to build a wall like this. Just fence like that. We're going to build multiple walls like this. On the side, we're going to want to store them. Like this. I'm going to block off this area over here on top. And over back here, we're going to. No, actually, we don't need to block off that area. So, up here, we're going to want to just keep on building and block off up here. Oh, wrong positioning. Don't know how I got them wrong. Yo, one more over here. Just a few more walls up there like that. There we go. Now up here, we're going to build up a few more, more cones on top of here. Just more block off, generally around here. Yeah, yeah. We want to place walls like this on top of here. 
leave this area open over here. One more cone up there, one more cone up here. Leave this area free of windows. Roof on top of here. Leave window there. Another window over here. Another wall over here. Place a floor on top of here. Leave this area open so that the husks can come up here. Now we're going to be moving on to this area over here. We're going to want to block off this area. Actually, let's leave this. So, if I can actually jump correctly. More block off on top of here. Leave it like this. Over here, we're going to want to place, actually, uh, to deter the husks a bit more. We're going to want to place wall spikes on top of here. Healable wall spikes. Uh, doesn't matter by perk. You're going to want minimum damage on these or just double critical damage, whatever you want. And just make sure they have this perk. 5% uh, of its max health every 10 seconds up here. Now on top of here, I'm going to want... No. It's a bit too low. Okay. Alright, I believe we are ready. Alright, we're going to start placing traps now. So to get started, fourthly, firstly... <clears throat> we're going to want to place uh, double impact and knockback. And double reload speed and durability and effect duration. Sound walls here. One over here. One over here. Then now we're going to want to place. If I have sound walls. No, I don't think. I don't believe I'm crafted. Alright, there we go. Let's just craft a few more of these. And now on top of here. In the meanwhile, uh, we can place the drop traps. So we're going to want to have um, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed and durability, and physical damage, whatever, doesn't matter. One and two up here. Now over here, we're going to want that sound wall I mentioned before. So we're going to want double reload speed and four durability, sound wall on top of here. Now over here we're going to want a triple knockback, impact and knockback, or oh, sound wall, durability and a 30% effect duration with 42% reload speed up top here. And on top here we're going to place another sound wall of the same. Now over here we're going to want to place a healable sound wall. So double reload speed, durability, impact and knockback. And another one over here. Then another impact and knockback during reload speed. Actually, we're going to want a long one. So let's take the other one. So uh, double reload speed and four durability on here. Now on top here, we're going to want to place scene electric fields. So double critical rating, double crit damage and durability. On top of here, just following along. place a wall over here. Over here we want to replace pyramids like this as a block off. Actually over here we can place another sound wall, impact and knockback, double reload, um, reload speed, durability and effect duration on top of here. On here we're going to want to place Slow retractable floor spikes, so double crit, critical rating, double crit damage, and, heal, and increased building health. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, now over here, we're going to want to place double critical da rating and double crit damage and durability wall darts. 
Over here, we're going to place more wall darts over here again. More wall darts up there. More wall darts up there. And over here, we're going to place more wall darts. More wall darts over here. Others over here. And more darts here and here. And then more over here. Mm -hmm. Now over here, actually, I think I forgot a few ting electric fields, so just two more ting electric fields over here. And up here, double, um, actually, we need these ones, so uh, damage, crit damage, uh, crit rating, 42% reload speed and durability up here. Up there. So they're going to be coming across over here. They're going to be snared over there, coming slow. They're going to be sound wall because a lot of propanes come here. And then they're going to be finished off over here. Now over here, uh, this will be for the husky husks. So over here, we're going to want to place uh, three rows of floor free straps. So impact and knockback, double reload, dur reload speed, and durability and effect duration. Over here. Now down here, we're going to want to place retractable floor spikes, 1.4. So critical rating. Crit damage, 30% reload damage, and reload speed, 40% reload speed, and, and uh, durability. Down here. Now over here, we're going to want to place uh, wall dynamos, so double crit damage, and damage, and durability. On these areas over here. Actually, to output more damage, we're going to make this like this. So they're going to be forcing to come around and absorb more damage like this. Like that. There we go. Now on here we're going to want to place three broadsides. 144 with uh, critical rating, crit damage, damage and reload speed and durability. Now down here we're going to want to place uh, some gas traps over here. So, no, nope, wrong ones. So, critical damage, crit damage, um, critical rating damage, and effect duration over here. This will be to get rid of some flingers, because we might get some flingers trying to launch over here. Now, on the side over here, we're going to want um, healable uh, zapper maxes. So, 5% max health every 10 seconds, and double critical rating and da crit damage over here. Then more uh, Zappa Max is back here. I'll also be building, actually, I should build a slightly more block off. Because some fingers might try to break through. And then that should be it. No wall over here. No pyramid over here. Block off like this. And then let me double check everything. So let's go through the mechanics of the area. So what's going to be happening? They're going to be spawning over here. They're going to be coming through. They're going to be sound walled as soon as they're coming in. They're going to be pathing through here, hit by wall darts, hit by wall darts, finish off up here. Smashes will be coming here, they'll be killed, they'll be following the wall darts, and we'll be building the rest of E in part 2. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And um, This is incomplete, as we'll be building the rest in part 2. I'll be also building a smasher bridge up here in part 2. And anyways, um, I believe this is the end, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, um, or if you like the build and the, uh, the design, feel free to like and sub if you want. And if you need help, uh, join the Discord. Anyways, uh, peace and thanks for watching.